Jay Larock, and we are here in the temporary white box as we are working to get our new one put together. We got my little uh, cool, tiny Constructicons, and yes, they do form Devastator. We're here with another unboxing, and let's just get right to it. This one looks like, I think it was one of the items I got from Makari. Uh, they are kind of like a marketplace, kind of like eBay, where people sell things. Uh, it could be used, it could be new. Uh, I like Macari especially when I was hunting for like my arcade, mini arcades, things like that. This packaging is really good. <laughs> so it's taken a minute to open. But I appreciate that because I rather have a little opening that takes a minute than that does not. And it's broken. Oh, and it is. It's been a little while since we've done a mini arcade episode. Let's move these out the way and show you. Mwah. Look at that. Oh wow. That is so tall. <laughs> that is super tall. Alright. So it's Stranger Things. Let me show you what that looks like all the way up. Look at that. Now I did buy this used, so just don't freak out. Like, oh my god, why did it look like that? It's I knew it was used. But I appreciate that it was packaged well. Um, the Stranger Arth, Arth, uh, Stranger Things Arcade Palace. Now I just love mini games overall. Um, so I, like <laughs> when I saw this, I knew that it had games that I already had mini arcades of. But the fact that it was Stranger Things labeled, it looked cool. I was just like, okay, I I, I have to I have to, I have to get that. And um, so this one comes with a bunch of games already built into it. Also Hasbro, man, Hasbro, what do you not own? <laughs> like, good God. All right, so just in case people want to know specifically about this item, um, it has 20, see it says, oh, it's four, I guess four and 16? Let me see what it says back here. All right, so it's awesome 80s action. It has a bunch of Namco games. Huh, okay. This is cool. And I don't really care about the box, but I mean, it's used. The box already took some damage, but I just care that the actual thing works. All right, so, I mean, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, and this is nothing new. Like, I saw that it had damage out here. But the actual screen, as you see, is like towards the back. Um, so, hopefully that looks fine. I'm, all of this, like I said, I'm aware of it. I do love the artwork. I mean, that, that's sweet. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Um, I, I like these mainly because you have the off and on. You do screw it in here. Um, let's see, did it, did they, nope, they didn't include any. Alright, I'm going to get some batteries for this and then we'll check it out in just a second. So moving. Alright, so we put in the batteries and let's see what we got. Oh, that's cool. I mean, as I said, the screen is in the background. I mean, I guess can clean this up a little bit let me see not bad I mean I I can work with that so as you can see you basically have menu and a button it says start is menu button start let's find out no it's not it's the big button all right so you have the same music here you got Patman you have Galaxian Dig Dug Galaga Hollywog Pearl Waffle Blast, Eleven's Quest, Blockbuster, Hawkins Invasion, Syrup, Syrup Drip, I like that, Steve Romp, Bike Bites, Dustin Dash, Stranger Skies, Monster Trek, Flash Fright, Freezer Jams, Babysitter Steve, Snoops, uh, Scoops Ahoy, Hopper Hunt, and then Volume. Let's make it low. All 
right, so not bad. So it's it's like they said, um, you get basically those four main games and then 16 Stranger Things inspired games, which is cool. You know, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. I was able to get this for about $12 because, you know, it has some wear and tear. I'm not worried about that. I almost think it, it helps with the aesthetic of it being in the 80s. Oops, I am sorry about the camera shake. Um, I can clean up the screen a little bit, but as you can see, the screen is recessed back. So this is not the actual screen, it's back there. So the fact that, yes, I do want this to be as clear as possible, nice as possible, but it's not like to the point where I'm like, oh my God, it's bad. Um, as you can see, it does have that sleep mode, which I do appreciate, even though it does have an on-off button, it still allows you to go into sleep mode to save your batteries. Let's see what the Patman looks like. This, so far, looks like the ROM, like the way it's loading. It sounds good. Oh, I'm, again, I'm looking through the monitor and not the game. So the joystick feels good. Like at, that's one of the things I always wear with something used like this. Is like, did they punish the joystick and I'm not able to do anything? But no, I'm able to move. Like even if I give it some shakes, sounds great. I mean, it sounds like the original ROM. I did not research to see if it was because honestly that wasn't like a huge concern. I have other versions that have uh, the original ROM. So uh, I do notice though, oh no, it's just on, on when I'm staring at it, I thought it looked like they were different colored, but they're, they're the correct color. All right, that's cool. All right, so hitting the menu button does take you back to the main screen. Let's quickly just look at Galaga. Looks good. I don't know if this is the the original arcade ROM. It looks good, but I don't know. If <sighs> Someone like it's been a while since I've played that. My, my other Galaxian sounds a little bit different. Let's see Dig Dug real quick. I mean, this sounds and looks just like it should be. All right. So let me just check out quickly one of these games and see what that's like. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, I get it. So, if just in case someone doesn't get it, this is basically like Frogger, but instead it's using the polywork. That's sweet. That is cool. Let's see if I, oh! <laughs> oh my god. I, I do love the, the sound. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is kind of like, it makes me think about, um, <laughs> like, uh, oh my god, not, not Jungle Hunt. Is it Jungle Hunt? Except you're not swinging. Okay, but you kind of get the, the drift. Like, I mean, this is Breakout, obviously. I gotta see what... Oh, is this like... Oh, wow, this is, okay, this is awesome. This is a game that I used to love. Well, I knew it as Pipe Dream, but I think they had other names for it. Um, I forgot what the other name was for it was, but I know it's Pipe Dream, and I used to play that in school on my Game Boy, and I just, I just thought that was great. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so this is like Burger Time, where it's like you're trying to push down on the vines to make it fall on them. Let's see if I can get that at least. Oh, well, now, now. Ah, got him. Oh, and it looks like it falls all the way down, right? Oh, I didn't do it right. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so. I'll do a full review on this at a later time because I just think it's cool. It takes three AA batteries. 
Um, all the games, I think it's really cool that when they say inspired, they basically take some other art 80s arcade games and like remix it to them. So it's like, you know, like they could have went really cheap with it, but to me, I give them props because they basically imitate Burger Time, Pipe Dream, things like that, to, but you know, use characters and names from Stranger Things. So I am happy with it, even though you know it's it's used. But for twelve dollars, I mean, I everywhere I've gone, it's either sold out or people are asking like a lot of money for it. Um, Forty, fifty dollars for it, uh, new. I've even seen it for like thirty, forty dollars used. So twelve dollars, as long as it has its sound, I can see the screen at least decently and the joystick and the buttons work, I am totally happy with that. So I consider this a success. As I said, I got on Macari, I only paid 12 bucks for it, and I think shipping was like three or four dollars, and I, I am happy. So, you know, I gave them good feedback just because I already knew it was gonna be good <laughs> before I opened, and I knew that I had a backlog. So I, I try to always give good feedback unless something really comes jacked up. Um, but yeah, so, Thank you for watching this video. As I said, I'll do a full review on this and go through each game at a later date. But if you like this video, please give us a, a like, a subscribe, share it. Check us out on Instagram at percentoffgamer. And until next time, thanks for watching.